YouTube. Welcome to my channel. My name is Becca and this is Shadow. She always gets her marshmallows. No lucky charms today, just regular marshmallows. <laughs> you have reached Sam Bree Stitches here on FlossTube and you can also find me on Instagram under Sam Bree Stitches as well. Um, this is a channel about cross stitch and today is Wednesday, June 15th and this is episode number 94. I can't believe I've almost to 100. It's crazy. It's crazy. Um, I just want to welcome all of my new subscribers. Thank you all so much for giving my channel a chance. Uh, thank you. If you came over from shout outs, please let me know because I like to return the shout outs um, as well. And welcome to my returning subscribers. I appreciate each and every one of you so very much. Um, I love all of the comments that y'all leave. I reply to every single one of them. Um, and it just, it just means the world to me to be so supportive. Um, so today is going to be a mid-year whip parade. Um, I do have a few fully finished pieces that I did, um, within these past couple of weeks. I do have a finished sampler that I'm super proud of. Um, I have some stitchy kindness, a little bit of haul, not very much haul. Um, and then um, I do have a giveaway at some point in the video as well, just to thank you all for just being so supportive. Um, and so we'll get started. I'm looking, I have a, a crate, a really, really nice crate that I seem to have got lucky and grabbed from Goodwill and it's filled with all my whips. So. Uh, we'll see what ones I abandon or what ones um, I really, really need to get back to. I'm, I'm curious because I didn't really go through these. Um, a quick little life recap. Not a whole heck of a lot has happened in the past couple of weeks. Um, I had a stitchy meetup on Monday. It was the first one since, I believe, February of 2020. Um, and I think the last really big one we had is when Daylene and Audrey um, and Aaron to Martini Stitcher um, all came and hung out with us. Uh, Daylene is so grateful, Audrey Stitcher, which 42, and then of course Aaron to Martini Stitcher. Um, they came and hung out uh, with my local stitching group and we just had like a, a, a neat little get together. I think that was the last one. And we were talking about it at the, the meetup. Um, Michael's is usually where we meet up in the classrooms, but they are not open, I guess. Their classrooms aren't open. So we met up at Panera. It was so nice to see their faces. We were missing a few, but um, it was it was incredible. And the cool thing was, I didn't check because I'm I I kind of host them because I run the Facebook group, um, and I didn't check ahead of time and I probably should have uh, with the with the restaurant, um, but we went and we met up anyways. You know we order food and we just take up a little area. Um, it's a pretty good sized Panera. The manager came over and was so excited that we were back. She remembered us from when we met there before. Um, and she, she was genuinely excited to see our group back. So I thought that was really cool and very supportive of the manager. Um, so we'll be meeting every other week, um, at the Panera for now, um, until we fully reopen here in Washington state, which should be hopefully on my anniversary, which is June 30th. So, um, hopefully the state reopens on my anniversary. It's a great, great gift. <laughs> um, I also hosted a Zoom meetup that following Wednesday, um, and it's those ladies, I just love them. I, I'm not going to stop the Zoom meetups because I don't want to lose touch with them. Um, they're just an amazing group of ladies, and I wish that we could all meet up in person, and maybe someday we can do like a little Zoom retreat somewhere and meet somewhere. I don't know, but I, I love them and adore them, and, uh, and I love hosting those too. And then... Uh, my oldest daughter, Samantha, um, she graduated with her bachelor's in linguistics um, within the past couple of weeks. She got her grades and she received a 4.0 in all four of her courses. I mean, 
wow because three of them were like these crazy linguistic courses that I had no idea what was going on um I'm so proud of her she is amazing she's smart she is just she's going to take the world by storm and I'm so proud of her um so my baby girl has a bachelor's degree I'm not ready for when she moves out um she's figuring stuff out now I'm not ready for it I know that uh Betsy gave me some great advice and a few other people gave me some great advice we'll see how I take it you may not see a video from me <laughs> when that happens um and then my younger daughter Brianna she is now a junior in high school um, she, we haven't got her grades yet, um, but she was doing distance learning. And so we have an idea that she at least got A's and B's on all her classes, which is awesome. Um, my girls get rewarded for their grades. They're good grades. Um, they've not really had terrible grades ever, um, but they get rewarded for their good grades. So I'm pretty proud of them. Um, a junior, I think she's going to continue distance learning. That was an option. Um, she is going through some things, so, uh, distance learning might be the best bet. So, and it, it worked out pretty well. She had a stress for a little while, um, but she caught up in the end. So that's all that matters. She got her work done. <laughs> Anyways, um, that's pretty much my two weeks in a nutshell. Uh, not a whole heck of a lot. Um, you probably won't see as many adventures, uh, from me maybe for the next month ish or so uh, my husband is very busy at work uh, they are switching over some software that they're using and it's an absolute nightmare apparently um so his normal every other mondays that he has off he's had to work um, but the nice thing is he's accumulating those free mondays off and when things slow down sounds like he's going to take a week off so that's going to be awesome um, we do have a very exciting trip next Friday. Um, I took the day off work and so did he uh, because we're celebrating our anniversary early and going on a whale watching tour. So my next video, y'all will get to see some beautiful pictures, hopefully of whales and all sorts of other um, animals and scenery. So I'm very excited about that. Um, but that's it. My two weeks in a nutshell. It's been a good two weeks. <laughs> Um, I've done a couple of interviews, um, my corn husker state stitchers interview has gone up and I'm so glad that you love them um, and enjoyed the video because I adore them. They are awesome and we have so much in common from like our favorite color to uh, the patterns that they stitch to how patriotic they are. I just adore them. And I've already done my interview for the next one in a couple of weeks. so. Excited about that too. All right, let's get to my FFOs. All right, so the first one I showed you last video, um, but I did finish the back. I showed it unfinished because um, some people were asking how I, you know, how I make my pillows. So I wanted to show it in that way. So this is what I showed last week. And this is a Monica Stitching Studio pillow. Um, I did leave off the bottom section of it but this is how I finished the back I made some rickrack myself and then I put a little cute flower that matches the flowers on the front this is a hand sewn pillow um I am not friends with my sewing machine if any of you are not friends with your sewing machine or don't have one you can hand sew it is a little bit more time consuming but you can do it I used to know so and they turned out terrible trying to like glue or iron no mm -mm. hand sewing it's it's worth it it's worth it and this is just filled with a polyfill nothing nothing fancy okay um next one this was a stitch along with my sweet friend jan um we did this quick little chart and it's this one pray for peace this is from Birds of a Feather. It was a nice quick little stitch. And then on the back, this fabric was sent to me by my sweet friend, Kim. Um, she sent it, I think I showed y'all in that huge pack of fabrics. It was the Riley Blake fabrics, I believe. I didn't want to open it. It was so gorgeous. 
but this fabric was like perfect to match the blue. And then this was from my uh, Cricut thing where I roll that had like templates and then you roll it through and it cuts out the felt. And then I sewed it on like that. And this is filled with lizard bedding. So it's like a bean baggie and it has a little bit of fluff in it too in the corners. But I love it. Pray for peace. That bird is a wonky bird and I love it. If anybody's still stitching this, I believe we used the hashtag pray for peace Sal. I think is what we used. I can't remember now because we stitched it so quickly. Um, the two of us. So there was that. And thank you, Jan, for stitching along with me. We need to pick out something else to stitch together because I enjoy that. Um, my other FFO is a um, freebie chart from my friend Helen. Um, she's Helen D on FlossTube and East Coast Crafter on Instagram. And this was the patriotic freebie. She did two versions. Um, and so with this one, y'all see the bottom? Okay, so with this one, it's they're hand sewn. So that Pray for Peace was also hand sewn, but so was this one. What I did with this one, because I am not friends with my sewing machine, is this ribbon and this piece of fabric. I used heat and bond, um, and I put the heat and bond underneath those two pieces, and I ironed them down. So they're actually like stuck onto the front of the fabric. Um, and then I had to use a really, really sharp sewing needle. Like I stabbed myself a few times because I hand sewed around this and it's pretty, it's pretty stiff. I don't, I don't know how to show you that, but with the heat and bond making that extra layer, it's, it's pretty stiff. So I sewed through that. So the ribbon is actually connected on the inside too, um, on the side there. And I just hand sewed through it. Um, this one I changed the colors and I think I put it on Instagram, but I used a 12 for the, the fireworks. I don't know if you could see that at all. It looks pretty dark in my camera, but, um, and then the back, I did the big firework and then I just put stars for where I cut out the, to flip it right side out. So there's that one and I love it. It's going to go in my display. All right, my final FFO um, is um, a stitching with the housewives pattern. And I actually had this idea when they first started launching these patterns that I wanted to do this. And then my friend Michelle from Made by Michelle McGraw um, stitched it and finished it before I did. Um, so I also had the idea for a seed packet. So this is the strawberry seeds one. And um, what I did, you can hear, I used jasmine rice. Um, and then that's the back is just the um, plaid. So what I did with this is hand sewed again around the side, the top and the other side and left the bottom open. Well, I kind of hand sewed a few stitches in on either side of the bottom. Then I flipped it right side out and then I cut cardboard to fit inside here. So I kind of had to like bend it through the hole and then pop it open on the inside. So there's cardboard on either side. And then I just used some jasmine rice that we had. And then I just did the little twine around the edges. Um, and I just folded the bottom underneath and glued it together. Um, and it's a seed pack. I love it. It's gonna sit in my little strawberry display for summer. So I'm pretty proud of that one. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's just gonna sit there and it's just kind of cool that you can shake it like a seed packet. All right, my finish. I need to save up money <laughs> to get it framed. Um, so I might do what Pam and Steph do and use the buy me a coffee link for framing because I'm really trying to focus down my samplers and it's really expensive to get framed. So maybe I'll do that. And if you want to donate, you could use the buy me a coffee link. I like their idea of that um, so much. 
All right, this pattern is from um, Whistle Stop Stitcher on Etsy, and it was uh, Chester's Sal, Chester's Place. And this is on 18 count peanut from Be Stitched Me. Hopefully I can hold it up. And there it is. Look at it. I didn't iron it. I think somebody said, I think it was Kitten Stitcher, I think, or somebody said that if you constantly iron, it flattens the stitches out. And so I only iron when I'm getting ready to finish it. I could actually do it like this so that you... Okay, so what I did is I changed all the animals on the bottom and I said I would explain why so the horse the horse has special meaning to us it was never a pet but um my younger daughter has gone through a lot um in the past few years I'm not going to go into details as to what um just some severe anxiety um stuff and my, one of my friends had horses and, um, she offered to spend time with Bree, um, and let her be around the horses and teach her to ride them as far as, as helping with anxiety and such. And so horses have helped us through a very, very tough time. So I decided to keep that on. That was an original animal on the, uh, sampler. And then next to the horse... I don't know if that was meant to be guinea pigs or not. I think that, but I added a second one. Um, so these two are guinea pigs. Uh, the white one was my younger daughter's um, special, special pet. That guinea pig was the kindest, most loving, sweetest guinea pig ever. They had such a crazy, amazing bond. Um, and that was during the time uh, that she was struggling and then we we lost Skylar and it went downhill from there um, the darker guinea pig was Apollo we just lost him uh, recently so I put him on there um, that is Emma you don't see her very often she is an old lady she is not very friendly um, but she is an all brown chihuahua and then of course Shadow gets to be in the middle so you see Shadow with her gray legs and then my grand kitty, Asa. And then Champ, my baby boy that I got for Mother's Day. has He passed away a few years ago. And then, of course, Bun Buns. So this is the sampler. And my younger daughter has already claimed it as hers because of the animals that are on it. I love it. Um, I'm so proud of it. And I can't wait to get it framed and up on the wall. Also, speaking of bun buns, I said that I was going to record down by the shadow, down by the rabbit, and I didn't. So I will insert a video of him. Sorry. All right, I am back. I had to put Shadow inside because, God forbid, somebody walk by our house and just mind their own business. Uh, shadow freaks out anyway so those were my finishes and my ffos um so i'm gonna move those over here i'm super proud of them hand sewing takes a long time <clears throat> but it's worth it all right so i'm gonna start off my whip parade with the projects that i actually worked on in the past couple of weeks um the first one is I really have been focusing on this uh, land that I love. I am in love with it. It's just such a gorgeous, gorgeous chart. And it's by Teresa Kogut. Um, eh, I have it all folded up. Again, it's not ironed. So um, don't come at me. Poor Betsy. Uh, somebody like attacked her for not uh, ironing her pieces. So she's like, don't come at me. So there it is. Look at that house. Oh my gosh. So this is on 18 count homeland. This was a custom piece that um, I had Brandy dye when the pattern was first released and I wanted to start it. And um, I got to name it, which is really cool. It has some um, modeling in it, like some hints of, of bluish grayish. It is beautiful in person. 
Um, and I loved stitching on that house. I don't know who I am anymore. I love houses. I love samplers. I'm, I'm a crazy person. So there is that. Um, the only thing that I changed on this one is the 3777 that was called for. Um, I changed that to used brick. So a lot of the red is used brick um, on that. I am so proud of it. I can't wait to get this one done. It's going to be a beast for, um, for framing. All right. The other one that I worked on is I'll have to insert a picture. Um, so this one I'm mad at. Um, eh, trying to get it. Wanted to show you first my floss bling. This is from my friend Chris Yo. She has an Etsy shop as the U flies. Um, these are my new favorite floss blings because clearly my stuff doesn't get tangled, although they're tangled down at the bottom now. Um, but I love these so much. I need more, Chris. You need to post more. Um, so the colors that I'm using for this are silks from Brandy at Be Stitch Me. So Red Barn, Blue Jay, and Nebula. And then Betsy Floss is from Color and Cotton. It was a, um, I think this was a special edition box that they did. But the problem is, Ding Dong Me wasn't thinking when I started this. And I don't know what I was doing. Um, I didn't realize I had this small of pieces from Brandy. So this must have come out of one of the boxes or something that I ordered. Um, but this is a, a one eighth yard of morning glory. And so this is where I'm at. But the problem is I only have room for two squares and it should be three squares. So I'm modifying it. I still have to fill this one in, but I'm just waiting for a fill in time. Um, so I'm going to do two squares and then I'm going to put the big one with the words in the middle and then two more squares at the bottom and then call it good. I'm so mad at myself, but this morning glory is beautiful. Um, so that was from Abby Sue Designs. And this is a sow that I'm doing with my friend Amy, Sprinklestein Stitches. Um, she actually bought this pattern for both of us to stitch together. Um, and our hashtag is patriotic patchwork sal. So if you want to join us, you're more than welcome to. Um, it's going to take me a little while to stitch it. You remember my, um, my patriotic fill-in one that took me like two years. This will probably take me that because of all the fill-in. Um, so there's that one. The other one that I worked on for Dark 13 Stitching with Emily C um, is another one that I'll have to insert a picture. And this was, this is another style that I'm doing with my friend Hallie, Stitching Big Things with Hallie. Um, she, she bought me this PDF pattern and she bought one for herself. Um, and she got it okayed that there were two separate purchases. Um, and same with Amy. They sent receipts, proved everything. Um, and so we could stitch it together because she knew how much I wanted to stitch this, but I could not justify the PDF price um, for it. And she just went ahead and bought it and sent it to me, which was so sweet. This is on an unnamed opalescent fabric from Be Stitch Me. And this is where I'm at. So this is, a, I love this fabric. I mean, Brandy is absolutely amazing. Um, I'm trying to see how, and the silk, so I'm using silk, I'm using Brandy's cauldron silk for it. And I made it to the bottom. So on this side, I'm all the way at the bottom. I just need to continue filling that in. So I'm getting there and I love it. And then when this one's finished, I want to, I have the Teresa Kogut's new release, the Silo Witches. I'm going to do that as my next uh, Halloween. I love pieces like this. And then maybe at some point the Leela Studio one that everybody is stitching right now um, with so many people stitching it, I just didn't want to stitch it. I'm weird like that. I know a few other people are. And then the last one that I worked on um, is, are my elk. 
Well, my husband's elk, really. This ginormous, ginormous thing. Um, and I put in, I made notes. I put on one day, I just worked on it one day, 1,300 stitches and I'm at 19.2%. I'm gonna open it. Look at that. And <laughs> I can't remember your name. I'm so sorry, I should have written it down. But thank you for checking the hashtags. This is not hashtagged elk booty. <laughs> But look at I filled in quite a bit with 13 under stitches and I'm starting to get the the antlers and the face more pronounced. Um and then my friend Aaron Aaron loves the elk booty. Um but he was like, "Oh, it's going to it's going to be a bummer when you have to move the key snaps and then we don't see the elk booty." Oh no. Every time I do a video, there it's coming out of the key snap so you all can see the elk booty because it's a thing now. And I want to show it in all its glory. I, I don't mind taking it out and putting it back in. Um, because I want you to see it in its in its full glory. Because as much as this is a pain in the butt to work on, I'm loving it. Again, remember how much I hated this piece? But what makes it even more special is how badly my husband wants me to stitch it. So that's that's why I'm loving this. And I can start to see things, you know, coming to life. When I was in that section with the trees and stuff, I was like, I am hating life. <laughs> okay, now we are into the pieces that I have um, just not worked on the past couple of weeks. And it's going to be random. Some of them I do work on occasionally. Other ones I haven't touched in forever. So I'll just talk about it when I get to it. Um... The first one, since it's up on the table, is going to be the other piece that I'm making for my husband. I'm making a sampler for each, um, for my husband and for my girls. So this is Hunter Gatherer. I need to get back to this one because I love it. It's on 18 count antique lace from Seraphim Fabrics. And let me just finagle this. You guys saw this one, I think, recently. <clears throat> oh. I guess it doesn't help when it's not. And there it is. I love it so much. The detail, I don't know if you can see the detail in the animals. Like that bird is so many different colors. It's crazy. And then this is where I had started it before. I did all of that. And, um... I was way off like there was no fixing it and I was so mad but I loved it so much that I restarted it all right oh wait these ones are gonna be last <laughs> yeah I'm gonna be reaching out of screen here sorry they're all in a I'll just pull some up okay this one is a sow that I started with Matt MBC Stitcher. Um, he came up with a hashtag Owl Be Stitching. Autumn Gifts. I love this one so much. This is on 18 count Swiss coffee from Color and Cotton. And I haven't stitched on this in a long time. Oh, I've got threads everywhere. My goodness. Um, but this is where I'm at. And I'll be getting this back out because I love it and it's so beautiful. I'm just not into autumn stitching at the moment, but soon. Um, but that is with my friend, MBC Stitcher, which I think he just put out a new video. I did an interview with him. I think I've done an interview with everybody that, I, that I'm stitching with, except for Amy. I need to do an interview with Amy still. All right, the next one is one that I work on typically on um, the 25th for Mary 25 Stitching and then maybe Blackbird Weekend, but I didn't do Blackbird Weekend this weekend. Christmas Garden by Blackbird Designs. Hey, guess what day it is? It's always trash day, so you're going to hear the trash. Awesome. 
I thought I started early enough, but I, they must not have a set schedule. It's so annoying. Um, this is on 18 count winter white from Seraphim Fabrics. And I am doing my own colors. Oh my God, that's so loud. And that's as far as I've gotten. I've got my initials and my husband's initials in there. It's very, very pretty. Um, the colors, since I have them right here. Um, gentle Art Green Tea Leaf, which I wish that I would have chosen a better brown because this is very green brown and I'm not liking it, but I've already used it so much. Gentle Art Endive. The Gentle Art Brandy and cherry wine from the gentle art. And obviously I am going to need to see if I have more of these colors because there's not very much left on there. Did not realize that. All right, um, this is another sal that I'm doing um, with my sweet friend, Heather. She is Punky Pearls. Um, this one is a companion piece. I, I think it's a companion piece to the, the autumn uh, piece that I'm stitching with Matt. This is Rest A While. And our Sal is Rest A While Sal, I believe. And while is spelled W-I-L-E um, by Plum Street. And I didn't get much of a start on this. Um, <laughs> Heather was like, hey, I'm feeling like a start. Do you wanna start our piece? Cause this was the one pattern that we both bought at Threadneedle when we met for the first time. I was like, sure, I'll start it. Um, but I really wasn't in the mood for like fall autumn stitching yet. This was Sand Dollar, which was a February 2021 fabric of the month from Be Stitch Me. And all I got done was the, the moon. So not a whole lot done on that, but I will work on it because I think those two pieces will look amazing together. Um, so my colors are a mess, but here's another floss bling. I love it because they like my threads don't get tangled in this like they do with the other ones. I mean, I love the other ones too, but they just get so tangled. Let me grab some more. Ugh. All right, this one I haven't touched in a while. Oh goodness, I'm not gonna. Well, okay, I'll show you the because this was a monthly like stitch along, they released it in parts. So this is what the full version looks like. I really, really need to get back to this, but I seem to want to focus on like one Halloween and one Christmas. I'm, I'm weird, I don't know what it is. Um, so this one went to the wayside. Uh, this is on um, 18 Count Wicked from Brandy Abby Stitch Me. I believe I got to name this one too. I love getting to name her fabrics. And that's where I'm at. I mean, I want you to see this fabric though, because it's perfect for Halloween stitching. Look at that. So it's called Wicked. And again, all these are 18 counts. So, you know, different fabrics die differently. Um, and there's where I'm at. So all the white, except for down here, all the white is glow in the dark. And it looks so cool glowing in the dark. Oh my gosh, I need to get back to this because I am loving it so much. Um, wait, is this? Oh, it is 18 count. This one I'm actually using two strands on. Because it looks very fluffy. So uh, this one I started with two strands, probably because I was using uh, DMC black and white. So I wanted it really um, pronounced. So two strands on that one. Yeah. Wow. I need to get that one back out. I might have to just juggle two Halloween pieces. Oh, I got out of the shower. I'm trying to rush because my daughter has an appointment and then she wants to go shopping. So I didn't even pull my hair back. I'm crazy. All right. This one is one of my new favorites. I, I didn't really like it at first. Um, but this one is a Marjorie Massey. Um, it's style is called prairie. Um, it's back is called primitive. I know, I guess there's a companion piece. Somebody said, um, 
this one I had decided to stitch in honor of uh, my sweet friend Pauline, my local stitching friend that passed away. Um, so this is dedicated to her. Just every time we pull it out, it makes me think of her because the words love, patience, home, um, those make me think of her. She, she was such a very, very, very sweet person. And I'm so blessed to have uh, been able to stitch with her and become friends with her. So um, this one is on an 18 count mocha cream from my, oh, <coughs> from my friend Fiona. She has Fiona's Craft Cottage on Etsy. She does beautiful fabrics. I think right now she is on vacation though because she is moving. So just keep an eye out for it opening back up. But it's like this beautiful mauve brown color. And I'm using the called for DMC. So I've been working on the alphabet part. Down. I love this so much. But I feel like I've still got a long way to go. I'm like at the halfway point between it. I need to do the other half and then the bottom row. So I'm loving this one. There's just not enough time, you know, in the week or in my life. Oh no, the zipper pull came off of my bag. I'm so sad. I'll have to fix that. That's a bummer. Um, I haven't been showing the bags because honestly, I don't remember where all of them came from. And I feel bad when I forget um, people because some of them aren't labeled and some I didn't leave the notes in. And so I, didn't, I haven't been showing them. This one I haven't touched for a while. My sister bought me this pattern for my birthday last year when we were at um, Acorns and Threads. Silver Creek Samplers, my Christmas list. And I think I haven't touched it because I'm bummed that the white isn't showing up on this fabric and I put so much work into it and I don't want to rip it out. Um, this is on 18 count ledger from Be Stitch Me. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this, but that's where I'm at. I mean, I love this pattern and I should probably start stitching on it again. I know people were suggesting maybe doing a light blue for the snowflakes or I don't know. I don't know if I'm just going to restart it or what. I'll, I'll wait and see what I'm going to do. That one is just not on my immediate radar anymore. Okay. I don't even know how many wigs I have. I should probably count. This one I haven't touched in forever. Fiona's working on it and hers is beautiful. I just, I don't know what it is. It's not calling to me. Kringles. I had to have it. I bought the floss pack and everything from Acorns. It's huge. So my plan is I'm taking out a row. So I'm just doing, you know, two rows because it's so huge. This is on 18 count opalescent cocoa from Mystic Fabrics. Oh, boy, that's a jumbled mess. And I got a room and started the the door part of it. But this fabric is beautiful with this. I really do need to get back to this one too because I love it. I just... It hasn't been calling to me. It has not been calling to me. Oops. I really need bigger bags that fit my 8 by 11 key snaps. I like shove them in there. All right, this one I probably am not going to work on. I love the pattern. I just am not feeling it anymore. Um, Heartstring Samplery, what a time to be alive. And um, this is on... 18 count opalescent hibiscus from Be Stitch Me. And I think it's like this. And the, and the, I'm using silk for this. And the silk is earth. This is earth. 
I don't even have it wrapped up. I need to get one of those wooden things that um, Brenda and Laura showed. I'm going to have to message them um, and so that I could wrap it around because it should work for fancy floss too, I would think. The little, like the floss measuring wooden stick thing. I don't even know what it's called, but that's where this is. I, I love the combination. I just think that this might be an abandoned project and I might just frog that out and reuse the fabric. I don't think I'm gonna stitch this anymore. So this is probably gonna go over here as a not gonna stitch anymore project. Okay, so I have been seeing quite a few people pulling this back out. Um, I believe my friend Robin, Lady Robins, I think she finished it, I have a bad memory. Um, but it's Cinnamon Stars from Plum Street Samplers. I mean, everybody knows it, everybody loves it. Um, this is on 18 count vintage country mocha. And this is where I'm at. I put a lot of work into it. And let's see, where am I at? So if I have the house, so I need to do the other part of the house. And then the scarecrow, wow, I really do not have that much to do. The other part of the house and the scarecrow. I should get this back out when I get my fall stitching back out. Yeah. That one is not going to be abandoned. This one might get abandoned. <laughs> we'll see. This one is My Country from La Di Da. And I love this pattern. I do. I don't love what I started it on. Um, I messaged Brandy and I was like, hey, I really want to try some uh, 20 count Ada. Um, and so she sent me a couple as gifts, which was awesome. And so this one doesn't have a name um, that she sent me. It's a nice size 18 by 21. And um, I got the outline done on it. <laughs> and I was like, I hate 20 count. But this was a long time ago. So maybe I should try and pick this back up um, and try stitching on it now because now I have bifocals. Um, because I did, I got the whole, like the whole outer border done and I was starting on the inside border. And it's, I think, I think I might pick this one back up and try it. Um, 20 count, I don't know, 18 count is my sweet spot. I love 18 count. Um, I think that's my only 20 count piece. But if I like that, I may switch my fabric of the month from Brandy to 20 count because I have an insane amount of 18. All right, this one, um, this one is red, white, and blue from Samsara. Oh, my stomach is growling. <laughs> Hopefully that didn't come through. It's beautiful. Beautiful. I don't know why I have not pulled this back out. Like, I have no idea. Oh my gosh, my, well, clearly I haven't been working on it because I pulled floss. My floss is a mess. Wow. I must have pulled. And I just flicked it everywhere. Okay, well, here's my messy floss. What gets me is this, this is old glory. And it's like pink. It's crazy. Like it, it doesn't scream patriotic to me. And I think that's why it's. Um, why I haven't touched it, but this is on 18 count Bianchetto from Fortnite Fabrics, and I got that far. I got red on the bottom. Like I said, it's beautiful, and red is done because it's not filled in. I think I could probably, I'm going to work on this. I really do. I love it on this fabric. Yeah, I'm going to work on this one. Because that rose is going to look so good. And I have the buttons too. Yep. I'm going to work on this. See, whip parades. Whip parades make you fall back in love with pieces that 
were like seriously these pieces were in the I have three crates this was in the third crate in the way back that I just really don't look at so so this I'm I'm in love with again this one I don't know if I'm going to get it back out or not um it's a pdf so I'll insert a picture of it it's uh Jane Hardy from Heaven and Earth and this is on 18 count Europa from Be Stitch Me um and this is about as far as I got and I I just don't know I had I was further but I had to frog a bunch because my counting was off but I love um did I say heaven and earth I meant hands across the sea I don't know what I said it's gonna be funny when I play this back and see um and I love hands across the sea patterns and this was my first one it's a little gem pdf um but the colors I'm not a bright colors person so I don't know if that's what's what's deterring me so I don't know if I'm gonna get back to that one and the last one doo -doo -doo -doo, that, I mean, I have more to show you, but those ones are like abandoned ones that are wicks that I'm going to show you still. Um, by Mira, Lady of the Flag, which I really need to get to her too, but I'm just focusing on things. <gasps> all right. And here she is in all her glory. This is on 16 count Patriotic from Be Stitch Me. This was a custom piece that I asked Brandy to make to match um, the, the pattern. I just wanted it a splotchy kind of thing, kind of like the Heroic from P P2P, but I wanted Brandy's fabric. Um, I really like this fabric and she made me a matching one for I think Queen of Peace. So that one's purples and greens. Um, the fabric is beautiful, but there she is. I need to get to the, I need to finish the flag. This is easy stitching. Anybody who has freaked out about stitching a mirror like I was is so easy. Yes, the chart is ginormous. It is crazy, crazy big. But I took a picture of the top half and I took a picture of the bottom half and I put it into my iPad and um, it makes life so, so much easier to stitch. And it's just chunks of stitching for her. Um, I have the, the beads and all that too. It's, there's no, um, nothing crazy on this. So mirrors are doable, definitely, especially for us Ada stitchers. Okay, now, this I'm not abandoning. I don't have the pattern. I can't find the pattern. I think it's in my PDF somewhere, hopefully. Um, I really, really need to look for it. This one I started a while ago for my oldest daughter because she's obsessed with uh, giraffes. That's like her, her spirit animal. And this is full coverage. I want to say this is 14 count. I have no idea what this is. Um, but look at that. I put so much work into it. Um, it's a mess on the back. But, oh, look at it. I need to find this, um, this pattern. It's gotta be somewhere. My stitches are not the greatest because I started this a long time ago. Um, but eventually I will stitch it for her. Um, in the meantime, I have a sampler done for her, so we're good. This one, I think I'm going to restart. I think I'm going to abandon it because I remember being off and I just... I'm not sure. This one was um, the Heartland Sampler. And I love this so much because my upstairs is farmhouse themed. Um, and this is from the Scarlet House. Love it. This, I don't even know what this is on. I think this is a picture of this plus fabric, but I don't have, yeah, I don't have the notes for it. 
Um, but this is as far as I got. I'm pretty sure I'm off with the corn. I guess it's not that big of a deal, you know, to be off because it's spaced out. Um, and I can't tell, I think I used two strands and I think that's what's, yeah, I think it's two strands. So I may restart cause that's not a huge start um, at some point and do one strand. Um, I like this fabric though, but I don't know. I don't know what the name of it is. I, it does look like a picture of this plus though, like a doubloon or something. I don't know. So that may be a restart. This one, this one, my stitching group, we started this together, a few of us. Um, and I, I've seen, um, I think Stephanie has started stitching her own pattern, Lindy Stitches. Um, and I think Emily C, Eclectic Possessions. I think there's a few people stitching this um, and it's making me fall back in love with it. It was, it's been in time out for like a year. This is Emily's House by Lindy Stitches. Um, this is on 18 Count Smoky Mauve by Color and Cotton. And the reason it's been in timeout is because that bird needs to get frogged. But I did the whole border. But that bird, there's way too many stitches in him and he looks wonky. Um... And maybe at some point I'll get this back out. It's not calling to me like some of the other samplers are, but I still do love it. Um, it's just been in timeout because of the wonky bird. So I should hashtag it, hashtag wonky bird. Okay, so these ones are my abandoned. Um, and you're gonna hear crinkling, sorry, because they're just folded inside this. The first one that I abandoned was the Spring ABCs by Little House Needleworks. The colors are gorgeous. They're still in here. Um, the reason I abandoned said piece, and again, I don't know what fabric this is. I'm pretty sure this is Picture This Plus too. It's annoying. I mean, it, it's on my Instagram somewhere. Um, but the reason I abandoned this is I got that far Okay, so I got all the way down to L and I've been working on the grass. And then Ding Dong Me realizes that the fabric isn't long enough to finish the piece. And I got frustrated. Like I could stitch the other half on this side and then stick them together because that's what everybody suggested. But I don't want to do that and I don't want to start it over. So it's been in timeout because I don't know. I don't know what I want to do. So I just shoved everything into this bag and put it away. This has also been in timeout. This is on 18 count vintage country mocha. This is Little House Needleworks Pumpkin Hollow Farms. I think this was a stitch along like a long time ago with the Stitching Housewives. I think. Um... 18 count vintage country mocha. No, it's not even 18 count. What is this? 14? Yeah, I'm not gonna restart, or I'm not gonna stretch this. That's as far as I got. That's a big piece of vintage country mocha though. I'll save it for my daughter. Pretty sure that's 14 with two strands. I'm doing two strands. It looks pretty on this though. I just don't like two strands and 14 count, but I don't want to stitch this one. So this one's probably just going to go by the wayside for now. I'll pull the floss on that one. And y'all are going to hate me for this one because I, I had actually started this before it became a, a stitch along for the community. Um, but this is Baby It's Cold Outside by Heartstring Samplery. Um, and of course this is on 18 count sterling from picture this plus because this, well, that's as far as I got one, I'm using two strands again and I just, I don't know. I, it's just not calling to me. So, um, 
that one was abandoned. And then my last one, the whole whip parade that is been in timeout that may be abandoned is the blue flower winter valentine. And I think I'm doing, I'm doing the words version. I must have been on a vintage country mocha kick when I started all these a long time ago. Um, I want to say this might be, I don't even know, 18 because I'm using one strand, but I mean, I got quite a bit done. Yeah, I got quite a bit done. So. Yeah. So that's it for my whip crane. Um, I didn't have as many whips as I thought I did. I mean, I have a bunch, but I think I only really abandoned, well, these ones were already, but maybe one or two. So not bad. Not bad at all. Um, so hopefully you enjoyed that. Whip parades are awesome because they're always full of enabling. <laughs> um, so now we're going to do the giveaway. So if you made it through my whip parade, surprise giveaway. Not really a surprise because I did say at the beginning that there was one. Um, so I, I finished both of these and so I just wanted to pass them on. And the first one is um, the Erica Michaels pattern that took me forever because I'm not going to stitch the bonus chart. Um, of it is this um, thanks to the brave this one I finished into a flat fold I used my own colors um, there's a bonus chart on the back um, to be entered in the giveaways um, the standard rules apply please be 18 this is open to everybody to ship a, a pattern is not a lot of money um, please be 18 to give me your address. Please be a subscriber and like the video. I would appreciate it. Um, I'm so close to 5,000. I think I'm like 95 people away from hitting 5k. That is awesome. Um, and if you do enter this, please watch the next video to see if you're a winner. I don't have time to, um, chase people down. I just, I don't even redraw. It just goes back in for, for whenever I want to do another giveaway. So if you do enter, please just make sure that you watch the next video to know if you won or not so that these can get out to somebody. Um, and don't say giveaway in the comments because it attracts trolls. You gotta love all the rules. Um, <laughs> so for this one, just say patriotic. Patriotic. And then... Pray for peace from birds of a feather. This one just say peace. P E A C E. So those are my giveaways for this week. Okay, we are just on to some stitchy kindness. So my first stitchy kindness was from Lynn. Um, Carl, he made an appearance. Carl is the rooster that lives the street behind me that always likes to crow. And um, it's like mine and Gina's thing, uh, my friend Gina. Um, so Lynn messaged me and she said that she was at Hobby Lobby and she saw these and she had to get them for me and send them to me. Um, and I have been dying to wear these, but I waited to show y'all. Look at that. <laughs> I don't have Bigfoot socks. These are my first pair. How stinking cool is that? Oh my gosh, I love them. Yes, Carl, we know you're there. So thank you so much, Lynn. <laughs> I really, really appreciate it. And now I can wear them. I think I'll wear them tomorrow because tomorrow I'm gonna go meet um, Betty, who is a subscriber and Instagram friend and fellow Ray Dunn hunter. Um, so Sam and I are going to go meet up with her, um, and for the first time and do some shopping and stitching. So I think I might wear those tomorrow. All right. There's going to be crinkling, but I'll wait on that one. And then this, um, yeah. so this was sent to me, um, from my friend, Danielle. Look at the card she sent. That's so cool. Um, so she used these, um, 
or she got these, <laughs> Carl makes me laugh. She got these from a thrift store and she wanted to send them to me. Um, and one of them I already have, but I'll probably do that in another giveaway. But this is really cute. It's called United We Stand. Um, from Full Circle Designs. It's, and I think I'm going to stitch this because I'm doing a patriotic Christmas, um, display this year. Uh, so this is definitely patriotic and it's Christmas ornaments. So this is going to go in Jolly July. Um, Heart and Hand Stars Sampler. And then this one is the one that I already had. So that'll be a future giveaway, which I love. I love. So thank you so much, Danielle. I appreciate you thinking of me and I'm definitely going to stitch that one for Jolly July. Super excited. Okay. Crinkle, crinkle, because I did not open this ahead of time because I'm terrible. So I participated in Brandy's Friday Night Fight Night. I just claimed one piece because I needed a pretty blue piece to put my friend Heather Punky Pearls. Um, she stitched me the I Wish You Lived Next Door um, from Heartstring Samplery, I believe it is. And um, we both bought those patterns when we went to Acorns and Threads. So I got blue fabric because blue is her favorite color to stitch hers on. But Brandy sent me a couple other pieces along with it to show you guys. So the first one is an 18 count Mariana's Trench. Oh my gosh, that is perfect for one of the mermaids. The Mira mermaids. Look at that! Wow. Look at the modeling. Like, here's, that's good modeling there. Mariana's Trench. Brandy knocks it out of the park. And then she sent me a 18 count opalescent nexus. Look at that, y'all. Look at that. Wow, Carl's very vocal today. And it's opalescent. I don't know if that's coming across, but it's like beautiful green flex. So thank you so much, Brandy, for sending the extra fabrics. Um, I love Friday night fight nights, but she's getting so popular that it's hard to get, um, to claim fabrics. You've got to be real quick. Then my last little bit is a little bit of haul from Acorns and Threads. Um, I had them order, I pre-ordered the majority of these. Um, so of course this is my next one after I finish, uh, thine is the trick or treat, um, from Prairie Moon. So this is Scylla Witch's Quaker from Teresa Kogut. So that's one that I ordered. And of course, I ordered For the Love of Nature from Teresa Kogut. Uh, my sister wants to stitch this together. Is that not pretty? Look at them nose booping. I love the nose boop. Nose booping is kind of a thing in um, our family. My daughter's guinea pig, Skylar, her special guinea pig, would nose boop. Uh, my older daughter's other guinea pig, Coda, would nose boop. Um, Asa, my grand kitty, she nose boops. Um, so it's kind of a cool thing. So I love that there's a, a deer and a squirrel nose booping. Um, Lisa, the kindred stitcher, is making me want to start this so bad, so bad. Always remember from Plum Street Samplers. It's gorgeous. Look at that. It's beautiful. I might have to see if I can get the threads for that. And then I got the Equality Sampler from Plum Street Samplers. I have all three now. The only problem is, um, I don't, this one does have over one. I buy these and I stitch on Ada and there's so much over one, but I really, really, really want to stitch them. And I don't know what to do 
I don't know what to do about the over one because I don't want to stitch on another fabric. Um, I really just want to stitch it on my Ada and it's a real bummer that there's, I can do some over one, but if there's a ton, um, I think, uh, my friend Shannon, she's the soda stitcher. Um, I, I think she finished, I think it's the heritage sampler that she just finished and posted. And I, I own that and it's beautiful. And I messaged her and she said, there's a ton of over one. Uh, and that just bums me out because it's just not made for Ada stitchers. So I'm going to figure it out. I will persevere. Um, and then of course I've got the primitive punch needle, uh, magazine summer issue that clearly I have not really gone through because um, yeah, I haven't even looked through this. How did I not look through this? Wow. Anyways, <laughs> I'll flip through it. I'm sure plenty of people have already shown it in their videos. So that is it, y'all. Um, I hope you enjoyed the whip parade. It was a lot of fun to kind of go through my, my whips and see what I have been missing out on <laughs> because they've been in the back crate. Um, anyways, I hope that you all have an amazing couple of weeks. You get a lot of stitching done and that things are slowly getting back to a new normal for you where you live. And until I see you all again, happy stitching, everybody.